an electric that feels like thunder and moves like lightning. This is how a small machine that appears to have appeared in India is described. That's correct, India is giving its full immobility effort, and one outcome is the TVSX. Folks, TVs is a two-wheeler manufacturer from India. While new motorcycle brands have exploded in popularity in recent years, TVs is one of the groups that has been around since 1978. The company is currently a member of the Norton Motorcycles family in the UK, a group with a long history. In the present day, you can find TV's newest vehicle, the TVSX, an e-moped with some impressive specs. Since this bugger isn't currently shipping outside of India, it's time to explore what supplies locals there may obtain. That's right, the thing you're about to discover is forbidden fruit at least temporarily no matter how much you end up like it. But since this item is rather appealing, we shouldn't let that stop us from maybe pressuring TVs to arrange for international shipment. Let's say you manage to access the manufacturer's website. In that case, you'll notice that the beginning of this story places a lot of emphasis on the frame that this bugger is rocking. Even though I'm not an engineer, I began to feel the cold jitters after gazing at the skeleton TVs showed us. T appears that one goal was to construct a sturdy yet lightweight frame, and while the aluminum struts appear to be very wide, the internal latticework ensures a lightweight construction. The back component is then added, and a battery box is made out of pipes. A traditional steering column, fork, and other accessories may be found up front. The rest of the X is then outfitted by TVs with panels to create a harmonious aerodynamic profile, to use their words rather than mine. However, I can't dispute that it does have a modern, edgy appearance and that it does appear to be quite aerodynamic. To truly understand the X, look through the gallery of photographs. Thank you.